Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another review. As you can see over here, there's a tree. Perhaps in another video, it will be properly lit up. Or maybe not even there at all. Because I haven't made my mind up. If that's where it's going to be, permanently, for the season. Anyway, another thing that's only here temporarily for the season is Mountain Dew Ginger Snack. You can see the little gingerbread guy on the bottle. Mountain Dew Ginger Snap is a gingerbread cookie or just an artificial gingerbread flavored Mountain Dew. As you can see, it's cloudy, which means it has the ester of rosin in it. Not sure if this still has some lemon limeness to it. Um, you really never know with Mountain Dew different flavors if it's a regular Mountain Dew with an additional flavor or if it's just a completely different flavor altogether. But we're going to find that out right now. Not much hiss to that opening. There's a definitely a sweet cookie like smell to it. Let's give it a taste. There is a slight gingerbready quality to this, um, but I do also sense a little bit of that lemony limeness. I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, there's um, this guy right here, this gingerbread man. He has an eye patch, but the eye patch is a lime slice. There's also a gingerbread man with a mohawk. And then a gingerbread man with a green Santa hat. It's also a gingerbread house. A gingerbread men, or let's say gingerbread person, because we're being non gender specific because it is the current year. If you were a gingerbread person and you lived in a gingerbread house, that would be the equivalent of you or I living in a house made of human flesh. And also, gingerbread men's like eyes and mouth and nose are typically made of candy, as are the windows and decorations made of frosting and candy. So it would be like a house man of bones and cartilage and blood and skin and you lived in it so that next time you uh, think about that and you think of a gingerbread man living in gingerbread houses remind yourself of the fact that uh, you living in a house made of human flesh and bones and sinew how that would feel to you pretty creepy actually so yeah this is like it's a lemony gingery and it is gingerbread not necessarily ginger as in like a ginger ale flavor there is like a gingerbread quality to it um, it has that like molasses -y flavor you get from a gingerbread cookie um, Whereas ginger is like, has like a heat, a spice to it. Gingerbread, they add that sh that brown sugar, that molasses to it that really mellows out the hotness of the ginger and really lets the sweetness of the ginger come out. And that is exactly what you get here. It is a sweet, molasses-y type ginger with a hint of lime. It's actually quite enjoyable because not one flavor is overbearing. The lime's not overbearing. The ginger's not overbearing. 
that sweet molasses brown sugar flavor is not overbearing. It's kind of a light flavor. You know what it's not light on? It's calories and sugar. There's 270 calories, 73, 72 grams of sugar in this bottle. And 91 milligrams of caffeine. So, tasty? Yes. Something that's going to be part of your everyday diet? No. But all in all, it is a, a decent holiday treat. I mean, that's why you don't drink eggnog all year long. Because, you know, it'll clog your arteries. And you don't drink uh, a 20 ounce of Mountain Dew every day because we know how much sugar that's in there. Uh, there as far as I know, there's not a zero variety of this. If I'm wrong and you've seen it, let me know in the comment section below. Because if there was a zero one, I'd probably get more. Um, typically, like sugary beverages like this, I'll just get one for the review. But I do have like a case of like uh, Sunkissed Orange Zero, which I have many bottles of. And I drink those every so often when I'm thirsty or have meals, etc. Um, but for these reviews, I like to do the the, the main one, the sugared up version with 145% of your daily sugar intake. Well, I shouldn't eat sugar for the next three days probably, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like and, like and subscribe, and have a happy Hanukkah, because that's currently the holiday we're in. Anyway, bye.